This VAWatchdog.org news video is brought to you by Bergman and Moore, LLC. Former VA attorneys now fighting VA for you. Call Bergman and Moore at 877-838-2889 or on the web at vetlawyers.com. NBC News in-depth tonight, back to the front. The number of U.S. soldiers who've had their Iraq military service involuntarily extended under the so-called stop-loss policy is at its highest since the start of the war. That's despite a Pentagon pledge last year to cut back on its use. NBC's Jim McLeshevsky takes a look at the effect of this controversial policy. As Sergeant David White was preparing to wrap up his military career last year, he was stunned when the Army refused to let him go. I was just in disbelief. I did not think that something like that could happen to me. Instead, White was sent to Iraq for his second combat tour, leaving wife Crystal and newborn Eva behind. What the Army did is slap White with a stop loss, which allows the Army to extend the soldier's enlistment, like it or not. I was going to be stuck in the Army for an extra year, and I was so close to getting out. 58,000 soldiers have been stop lost in the past six years. Their service involuntarily extended from a few months to more than a year. You kind of felt you felt helpless. You felt like there's really nothing you could do. There's nothing you could do about it. Okay. Stuart McKenzie's stop loss not only cost him his time, it nearly cost him his life. The bomb was about five, five to ten feet away. It severed my left hand almost completely off. It was just dangling by some skin. Army surgeons reattach McKenzie's hand, which now gives him limited use. To this day, McKenzie blames the stop loss. Yeah, I got hurt right at the end of uh, seven months. Yeah. I was only supposed to be there six. The Army says it uses stop loss to keep soldiers who reach the end of enlistment from leaving the battlefield in the middle of a combat tour. They don't like it any better than I do, uh, but it, it has proven necessary uh, in order to maintain the force. But many lawmakers and critics claim the Army has used stop loss as a backdoor draft to make up for the shortage of soldiers for the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. It is going to destroy the morale of our troops. We've got to stop it. Senior Army officials predict, however, they'll still need stop loss at least through the end of next year. That won't matter to David White, who will finally leave the Army in July, fulfilling his duty and then some. Jim McLeshevsky, NBC News, the Pentagon. VAWatchdog.org, the nation's number one independent veterans website. On the web at VAWatchdog.org.